it's a much more competent and professional defence force and frankly a better equipped defence force than it was of uh, 20 years ago. This idea for the circumstances of yesterday and today is fine. I think that despite concerns about cuts to funding and everything else, the sharp end of defence is, is, is certainly more experienced and probably more professional than it was in the years before Afghanistan. The Australian Defence Force of today is far better than the one throughout the 70s and the 80s that we had. However, the bar set by the strategic environment has increased far, far more. Therefore, the Australian Defence Force is still deeply deficient. The overall capability of the ADF for the task set for it is declining. All capabilities start to erode when you withdraw them from operations and uh, other priorities start to intrude. The pressure on the budget um, is going to mean that continuing the projects that they've got in place at the moment and, and keeping the equipment that they've got at high levels of readiness and effectiveness is going to be a real challenge. As a long-term proposition, the ADF is certainly declining in its relative capabilities, capability relative to, to, to credible regional adversaries. Particularly as Asia's middle powers and great powers really begin to stand up and improve their, uh, their military capabilities, I think that's where the question of the quality of, of our um, force will really come in, into play, whether we're able to maintain that qualitative edge or, or not relative to those other countries. The operational tempo is coming off at the same time as funding is, is coming off. Um, we're going to begin a decline.